In this morning's A Veteran's Voice, family members speaking about their loved ones who were killed in the War on Terror. The Portrait of a Warrior Gallery honors more than two dozen heroes, some of whom enlisted following the events of 9-11. And recently, the two newest members of this unique fraternity joined their brothers on this wall of remembrance. <laughs> It's been 15 years since Angel de Jesus Lucio Ramirez spoke to his family. Assigned to the Army's 16th Engineer Battalion, 1st Armored Division, Ramirez was killed by a roadside bomb on Veterans Day 2006. So we just love you and your family, and we are here for you, like I said. Now his image hangs alongside other brothers in arms at the Portrait of a Warrior Gallery. I, I'm very happy because I remember my son all the time. And his portrait includes his family. Who is that? Ten years, Ten years old? Yeah. That's this him? is my Fatima <laughs> and Luis. I am my, my and is other that you? son. Is that other you right son. there? Yeah. Is yeah. that good? Is that perfect? Yeah. <laughs> his father, Ignacio, says his son talked about joining the military for as long as he can remember. He wanted to sign all the time. He wanted all to the service to the army. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were there any other family members in the army? Before? No, only I. Really? Yeah. So, where did that military yeah, desire come yeah, from? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when the shy was like it. For the other newest member of the gallery, David Perry began his career in 1990 during Operation Desert Storm. His wife Danae was unable to attend the ceremony due to a recent surgery, so she viewed the unveiling on Facetime. It's just it's perfect. I, I sure, couldn't ask awesome. for anything better. Perry returned to duty at the age of 35, joining the California National Guard with the 649th Military Police Force. He was sent back to Iraq in 2003. Took over a police station. We lived in a police station there, uh, and we pretty much restarted an entire uh, Iraqi police force. Abraham Hinojosa was a platoon sergeant in Perry's unit. He says he was with him when a bomb disguised as a package was left outside the police station. And, uh, you know, Perry just was there and it was remotely detonate detonated. Um, as the phone scanned the room, Danae didn't recognize Hinojosa at first, now a CHP officer, as the man who was with David at the end. Do you know the name? That, that was me. Oh, that was you. Hinojosa. Yeah, I know. She knew I was with him at the end, and then she just didn't recognize me until she recognized me, and then she wanted to stop talking. Well, I hope that you guys can hug each other in the spring. We, we don't we don't forget two more portraits hanging in this gallery so no one will ever forget their service now in addition to ramirez adam zanudo and kenneth hermagino both listed the attacks of 9 11 in their bios as the reason they joined the military there are now 27 portraits in that gallery